Hello everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops and today we're looking at a Cat D6 Dozer um, with the Texa Off-Highway Package. Okay, so we're just going to click our Off-Highway module, we're going to choose Construction, and then pick our Manufacturer. Next, it's just broken down by the type of machine, so we'll choose Dozer. And you've got all your different modules listed here, and you've got a couple different ways you can look at things. You can go in through the module itself, we can do a vehicle checkup OEM, or an actual system scan like we're going to do to find out what's on this machine. Our next screen gives us a location of where to find the data link. Um, in this case, it's a possibility of two different spots inside the cab, so you'll actually see the video cut here and go on to the next one. All right, once that's finished, we're plugged in. We're gonna click this next button. And it's gonna take it just a second here. It's gonna find the box and this is a Bluetooth connection. And once that's done, it's gonna begin the scan. We do have the key on in this case, so we'll confirm that, and then the scan will begin. This scan does take a little bit longer than going directly to the module, just because it's looking for what's on this actual uh, machine here. So, still works rather quickly. We've got three modules here. We've got our engine, machine controller, and our GPS. We're going to start with the engine. We'll hit click confirm. And it takes about 30 seconds here to connect. Once this is connected, it's going to ask us which protocol. Give it just a few seconds here. Um, Caterpillar does run multi multiple protocols, so you've got two choices there. Um, in the parameters tab, we'll crank this up so you can see these change here as we go through it. But you're going to get all of your live data. Um, if you need to, you can graph all these out as well. You just double click them, double click them, they go back. We'll scroll through. Anything you see not available here, that means that machine does not have that particular sensor on it. But once we get to the bottom here, I also want to show you the dashboard feature. This is kind of helpful. Um, same parameters you were just looking at are live data. Just kind of puts it in a picture format for you here. Your fault codes, if we actually had any. And then your ECO info, which of course tells us which two protocols we have here available. Our tests, followed by our settings. So most importantly, over here, you can't get in here. You can do your manual regen. We'll make our way through the list. Let's take a look. Um, of course, powertrain protection reset down there, too, at the bottom. But I do want to go back and run a cylinder cutoff on this. One thing that's changed in the software is you can actually cut that cylinder out as long as you need to now. It used to just cut it out momentarily, but we'll show you a live view of that and how that works. We're going to exit out of this module next, and I want to actually go into that machine control module. We'll end our connection here. And this is just going to bring us back to our main screen that shows all the modules that was found on the machine. So we'll go into the machine controller next. Again, it's going to have to reconnect, so it does take about 30 seconds here. We'll let it go through. And this will bring us back, same as before, with our engine module. We'll actually start on the fault codes. There are no current fault codes in here. And then we can go through the parameters. Some of these you're going to see not available again. That um, that just means this particular module on this machine does not use those parameters or that live data. But we'll stop here and kind of let you take a look. All right. Once that's done, again, False tab, we didn't have anything there, so we're going to look at ECU info. Activations, you can clear the errors, but the settings tab is where you can actually get in here and change things. All right, one thing we get a question on a lot of times are ground speed. So you can go in here, you just click start. It's going to ask you for your special code there for your web block, and you can actually change the speed to what you want it to. So it's as simple as that, and the cover seems to be pretty well on this dozer. All right, guys, thanks for watching.